everyone. I hope traders and investors alike were green today. Well, tomorrow morning at 8.30, we have the CPI report. There's a lot of different analysis with a lot of different opinions, uh, but it pretty much sounds like everybody's expecting it to be cooled off. Uh, sounds like Biden's also going to come out at 10 and talk about it, which is good because a lot of times we'll get these big moves on pre-market numbers and then chop and not, you know, kind of the market kind of be gridlocked. And Biden, hopefully, if that happens, Biden hopefully will come out and and cause the market to move uh, one way or the other. Either way, give us some momentum to trade. So, and, and we do see that a lot when we get those numbers that, you know, it kind of sucks to not be able to trade it. So Biden is kind of like a catalyst on top of catalyst tomorrow. So let's look at the charts. We have our, we also got some levels to uh, be aware of on a couple of different indices uh, that could be big levels of resistance. So we have our oscillators here for the NASDAQ. We are at 337. So we are extremely oversold there. The New York Stock Exchange, 272, once again, oversold. So you got the SPX. This is the weekly chart. You can see this downtrend is coming in right, right about the, I could adjust this line anywhere from where, it's, where we're at now uh, to around the 4,000 area. Uh, if we do take out that 4,000 area, we can look for resistance at the weekly 50 at 4,047. 4,000 is a pretty big psychological number there on the SPX as well. The S&P 500. U.S. dollar, we have two inside days after a big move down on Monday. VIX, a uh, little, you know, just a small green candle today, so we did try to push up a little bit. I would like to see the VIX below 20. Crude, yeah, crude. You can see the money's been coming back into it. Uh, we were trading in this possible bear flag, never confirmed. So obvi obviously, it's not a bear flag if it doesn't concern confirm. Big candle today, MACD trying to change character there. Apple, not another one. Nice candle, got back above the nine. You can see the little hammer candle down here on the nine. Blew through the 20 today. Nice push. Closed strong. You can see right here, we closed on the highs. Uh, so they're front running these numbers. If these numbers don't come in, what's expected, we could get a serious sell, which, you know, for us, uh, for trend catalyst traders, it, it doesn't matter. Either way, we're going to come in here and make money. Uh, gold, uh, gold trading in a couple inside days here as well. Uh, you can see it got back into the Bollinger Band today, a small down day, small spinning top there. I don't think it's anything to worry about. It's kind of hanging out, waiting on the nine. Gold looks pretty good right now. Advanced decline lines all turned up. This is showing a lot of strength. Uh, we do have to worry about coming into this 200 as well. Uh, you can see Abby. I posted this chart in the Discord this morning. I believe I posted it on Twitter as well. Had this double top here, broke out, and, you know, we were watching for the 50. We cleared that, made a nice move down. Was able to recover some of that. But just seeing money come out of them pharma names, big, some of the bigger pharma names that have been being... Uh, held up so well just a lot of things are running right now so with all this other stuff running people are pulling money out of that going after a lot of these small caps or smaller midterm caps even tech tech's been really hot so there's plenty of other places to put your money that moves a little bit faster and you can always put it back in to stocks like abby when uh the the run is over so you can see AMD here. We took the 50-day out today, held that. Nice push on AMD. Uh, you can also see the weekly chart. We're pushing right up into the 9 and 20 there on the weekly, so plus a level of resistance as well. Firm, we had a big candle on this today. This was on our radar right into the Bollinger Bands there. Big move. Took the 9 and 20 back today. You can see the intraday chart, 15-minute chart. Huge move there. On a firm, Amazon had a nice move today as well. You can see big candle here, got us back above the nine. AMC, nice candle here today, back above the nine yesterday, gapped up this morning, 
uh, it's actually up this afternoon and after hours, I believe. I know it is. And this is how I know it is. I looked at the charts a while ago. You can see the big push up. Uh, BBBY is also up. They are front or they're running the Mimi stocks. Uh, somebody mentioned squeeze yesterday while we were trading. Can't remember who come out and said, but they said potential squeeze. And it kind of caused the Mimi to take off, started getting attention right after that. You can see AMD here. We do have this gap below us. You can see the last two days trending up. Amazon, big candle today on the daily, back above the 50-day, pushing here. Strong candle, you know, good news tomorrow. Biden comes out right, strong candle. We could definitely see follow-through. The news doesn't come out like they would like it by them front-running the market. We could see a big sell. So it's definitely a, uh, you know, it's, it's a 50-50. Nobody knows what these numbers are going to be. So Apple's coming back up to retest the bottom of that descending triangle. RK, nice push here as well. Uh, you know, just a reminder, I keep RK on this list because it lets us know what those stocks that Kathy's holding are doing when this is up. We pretty much get a good idea that, you know, a lot of those beatdown stocks that she's holding is having updates as well. But you can see, draw this downtrend here. We're right into this downtrend, also right into your 50-day. So we need to be comfortably above those tomorrow. And if we gap up on CPI data, we will be comfortably above those tomorrow. Boeing, Boeing's kind of flagged in here to the nine, trying to push. Looks like it needs a day or two off. Baba, another one needs some time off. A huge up move here. So... You know, we could easily see a move back down towards the nine to try to put in a flag after that nice gap up there, push up. Bitcoin, Bitcoin's also showing some strength. We got our uh, daily 20 we're pushing right into now. Sorry, the weekly 20 we're pushing into now. Uh, this is the daily chart for Bitcoin. Outside of the Bollinger Bands, nice push up here. It's been ripping. You got your nine, your 20. Uh, all your moving averages, your 50s, even starting to turn up. Strong RSI, uh, plenty of relative strength there, and seeing a nice MACD on the daily chart as well for Bitcoin. Boeing, uh, you can see the big push up yesterday, give some of it back. Today wasn't a very good day for Boeing. It did pull back, kind of tried to push, and just it ended up pulling back again. Of course, we had Boeing on the radar. It just didn't really give the opportunities. A charge point, we had this on a radar. It's another chart I posted in the Discord this morning. I liked it because it was back above the 9 and 20. Nine and, the 9's turned up on its way up. Nice move on this one today. We also obviously had it on the radar. Uh, the 50-day is a, a level of interest here. We need to clear that 50-day. Huey, another one. Really nice push today as well. Uh, here's Chewy on the intraday. You can see a nice move. Uh, Chewy really can cover some range for a small $40 stock. XLP just doesn't look, you know, we're not getting a lot of attention there in Staples right now. Crowd, you know, when you have all these other stocks up and you see a stock not responding like this, you know, if you're seeing this and you got all those other big candles, don't trade this. Know, go after the, those stronger stocks. You know, market leaders. We try to trade the market leaders, uh, honey badgers, things like that. That you know have strength. And it, when I say market leader, it can be leading the market up or leading the market down. But we try to trade the stronger stocks. Or if you, if the stock is not stronger than the market, then you should be trading spy or IWM or the Qs, where your strength is. If you're trading ability allows you to trade that if you're a new trader i encourage you to trade smaller stocks like ford get some practice trading because uh, when you're new at trading it can't be about the money we've been saying this from day one uh, it just can't be about the money you have to put in time to learn the skills first uh, it's just like any other life-changing skill you know you go to college for years to become a doctor or something like that to uh create a abilities to make life-changing money and earn a life-changing skill 
you know the market's the same way uh, you don't just come in here you're you're not the unicorn you won't just come in here and start knocking it out of the park um, you can see cvx here uh looking weak below this 50 day that huge candle on crude today a little surprised here you can see the big pullback it did try to recover so basically you put in a higher low there so obviously you'd be moving lower DraftKings, another nice candle today. Big candle yesterday. That was on the radar today. EA, nice push up. We had this double top, big move down, and nice recovery. We were looking for a pop on this because of the flag and the nine catching up, and we were able to get a nice push on that. Uh, Lily got a, uh, a upward sloping head and shoulders here. It's pretty rough. I was just trying to spot it out this morning. Did have this down candle uh, Monday, Tuesday. You get your reversal signal. You got this nice hammer down here. Wednesday back up, which was today. Uh, you can see XLE. Not a good day for for energy. Exxon Mobil, you know, big pullback, but Exxon Mobil had a nice recovery. Was able to take out the opening candles, which is a sign of strength. Big volume coming in on that name at the end of the day. First solar, this one also had a head and shoulders pattern, and I stated I would not be, want to be the first one in it to go short, and even though the neckline was up there, this uh, support level was important, and that was never taken out. So in my opinion, the entry was never there uh, to go short. Put in an all-new high today. Didn't close on it, but we did push up and touch an all-new high today. Google, strong candle. Strong candle the last two days, which is a little unusual for Google. Halliburton. Halliburton's broke out of this uh, descending broadening wedge, and we're up here hanging out waiting for the nine to catch up now. Hopefully, we'll be moving higher on that one. QQQ, nice little rounded bottom pushing up, cleared to 50 day today as well. Nice move there. You can see the Qs. Uh, two days, last two days, we've had a really nice move up. Uh, you can see the Qs weekly here into your nine, your 20, your 200 weekly. A lot of stuff going on there. Uh, another one we need to watch this downtrend on. We're not as close as we are to some of these others. All right, TLT bonds pushing up. That's a good sign for the markets. So IWM, you can see IWM is right into the weekly 50, which is right at the weekly downtrend. So we are at a critical level here. If we take this out tomorrow, that's a good sign. Uh, January is actually fairly good on small caps as well. So in you know, the, the medium caps. So maybe we can take that out and start uh, putting in some new, some new trends here. IWM still kind of cup and handle-ish trying to push back up. You can see we're coming up in the resistance. We're above the 200 day to day and looking at the weekly chart, we know we're coming into resistance. You can see the last two days, nice big move up there. Let's see if we get follow through tomorrow. Tomorrow's all going to depend on uh, you know, the CPI, what happens there, uh, Biden coming out. So we'll just have to, you know, like we do every day, play the action, see where the option flow is going, see where the volume is going, and, you know, price action is king. JP Morgan, nice move up. Macy's, big candle there today. She closed strong, too. Mara, we talked about we cleared this 20 to expect price acceleration exactly what happened uh last two days not today but two previous days strong monday and tuesday strong updates giving some of it back today pretty extended there on, on monday and tuesday though merc you can see uh merc we had this ugly down candle kind of hanging out looks like it was waiting on the nine and we did recover that today looks like we got gap down here and was able to push back up Meta, Meta, since, since Meta has took this downtrend out, since it took this pattern out, took the downtrend out, has made a nice little push up here. And you can see Meta enter day, nice push it open, give it back. You know, we, we broke below the 15 minute nine, bounced off the 20, the 15 minute 20, nice push up there. Took the 15 minute 50 out and, and pushed. Um, Micron. Big move again today. This thing's just been on fire. Microsoft, another nice move today. This one we had this one's on the radar. Another one closed strong. 
Microsoft here, you can see it pushed up in this big push right at the end of the day. Microsoft uh, weekly chart, so you're trading on it a weekly inside bar right now. MU intraday 15 minute. So we pushed up and then come back down, tested the lows, and ripped the rest of the day. Nice move there. NASDAQ. So NASDAQ, another one's got a little rounded bottom down here. It's took the 50 day out above the 9, above the 20, above the 50. Netflix, uh, we had an inside bar here today. We had it on the radar too. Uh, looked good at, at one time, but ended up giving it back. Just couldn't close that strong. NVIDIA, nice push up here on the weekly. Um, I'm sorry, this is the daily. Uh, nice push up here. I was watching this level to see if we could clear these candles and try to get a move down. Didn't happen. Uh, we did uh, close on this. It's not really a hammer candle. The body's a little too big, but you can see the wick here pushing back up on the nine, just showing the uh, resistance down there. Nice push up here, cleared the 50 and the nine as well, or the 50 and the 20. Nine, fifty, twenty were above all three coming into your 200 day there. You can see the 15 minute chart. Not a huge move here. We have a level in the Discord that we were unable to clear. Uh, NVIDIA weekly back above the weekly uh, nine there and a resistance level. PLTR, another one had a nice up day, uh, closed right at a previous resistance level. And you can see back here in November and December, we had tested this area before taking it out. So that is a, a level that has been tested. Pedalton, another one, nice push up, taking the moving averages out. Plug, nice push up, back above your moving averages. Still, still below the 200, but back above the 9, the 20, and the 50. Robolex, this one's had a strong week. Uh, we gapped up over top this 50. We were able to hold the 50 today. Uh, there was a few times where we had that chart on the radar. It looked decent. It didn't didn't close strong. SPX daily, same thing. Back above the 9, the 50, the 20. 200 resistance coming up into it. SLB, just a strong chart. SLB weekly, uh, still still strong chart there, pushing up. Diamond, uh, the diamond has took that downtrend out. So the diamond, typical, you know, it's, I don't really want to say it's in a new bull market, but it has definitely started a new trend. Uh, some say it's in a new bull market, but it has broke the downtrend and started a new trend. SPY weekly here, you can see the same as the, uh, same as the IWM, you got your 50 coming in, uh, pushing up. So we're coming into this downtrend plus your 50 weekly. Your 50 weekly is right at 400. So I'm going to look at this downtrend becoming in right at, right at about 400. And that's where I'm going to look for possible resistance tomorrow. Uh, this chart is the downtrend line. You can see other than this uh, candle here where we gapped up and didn't just give it back, which was, I believe that was a CPI data candle. So we gapped up and just end up gapped up in pre-market and give it all back but you can see we've had four touch points of this trend line and it has held every time one thing that you can see is the gap difference between 0.1 to 0.2 0.2 to 0 0.3 0 0.4 come in a little bit quicker 0.5 looks like it wants to come in even quicker if we get the right data tomorrow we can go to this 200 day or go to go to this downtrend and that would give us a fifth touch point, whether we take it out or not. But usually when it comes to these trend lines, you know, we start to test them faster. We don't pull away as, as far and we start to test them you know, more frequently uh, and without as long of a gap in between. So if we you know, could possibly be heading to take this out. One thing that's different this time, like when we get up here, we're stretched out. You know, we get up here to test it. MACD stretched out. MACD is not stretched out this time. So you might be just getting crossed. That doesn't, you know, it doesn't mean we're going to take that out. But it's, we're, this market's in a little better shape with a little more earlier momentum to uh, test these levels. 
you can see the SPY here on the daily, nice rounded bottom back above your 200, back above your 50, your 9, your 20. So the SPY right now is back above all the, we close back above all the daily moving at major moving averages with a nice fresh MACD there. You can see the intraday chart the last two days we just pushed up. Our breath charts, uh, short term, medium term is bullish. Long term trends getting ready to turn bullish. Nice push here on square today as well. XLK, same thing, rounded bottom, back above your 9, your 20, and your 50. Still below the 200 there. Tesla, Tesla weekly, got this hammer candle down here off of a support level. A weekly support level, trying to push up here. See how we close on by the, at the end of this week. You can see here we're back above the 9. Nine's trying to curl up. we still going to take that 20 out. Definitely not the kind of strength there that's in so many of these other names. But you can see the last two days, nice push up there. Today pushed it open, give it back, and just didn't have the uh, momentum a lot of other names had in the market. Uber, nice push up above your 50 and 200 there. Visa, nice push up here. We talked about this, this trend line. We touched it, touched it, touched it. We talked about how the MACD was resetting. Once again, we just talked about the same thing with the SPY. We talked about this in the last video. The same thing with the SPY. Every time we get to this trend line or our resistance line, we are, have a maxed out MACD. This time, we didn't. And here's the weekly chart. You can see we took the trend line out on the weekly as well. GDX. This is the gold name that uh, it's the gold name I prefer to trade. So that's why I added this one. Uh, hanging out, waiting on the nine. We talked about that in the last video that the nine needs to catch up and push. Wells Fargo, uh, just putting in a little base here at support. See if we can push kind of shoulders, head, shoulders. You know, it's not, not textbook, but it does look like an inverted head and shoulders down there. Banks pushing up here. And ExxonMobil. ExxonMobil uh, really is struggling to get going here. You can see it just, it's just struggling right here in this area. I like it better above this candle with the 9. I want the 9 up above the 50, the 9 pushing up, and I want to see it above that candle, uh, that candle line there. Maybe it's worth trading. And our put to call ratio has not updated yet. And that concludes our video for today. Uh, please keep in mind that discipline is the key to your success in trading. And I will see you in the trading room.